Right, we're we'll gonna do something a bit different today. We're gonna to have a look. I'm recording my screen, and where we're fixing the Freelander 2, I'm gonna show you how you can look up online without any access to any Land Rover official catalogs, how you can look up parts. Um, I'll explain some of the limitations. So if you Google LR Cat, it should come up with this website here, lrcat.com. Um, if you get a banner at the top here that asks you, do you want to go to the new site, go to the new site, which will look like this. Now, so we were fixing the Freelander 2 today. Now, before I go into that, you'll notice that this is um, a website from Russia by my mate Dimitri's made this from lr.ru. Um, he sells aftermarket stuff for Land Rovers in Russia. Now, he's got all the data and he has put it, but he only got it up to 2014. You'll see this is the last car. So this is only any good for vehicles up to 2014. Now, you might have a 2015 Range Rover Sport like this one here, and you could obviously use it to look up bits for that, but it might not be up to date exactly. Now, here we go, here we go. So I was looking at the Freelander 2. So if you click the Freelander 2, you get a basic parts diagram here. Now this is accessories um, and bits and pieces, stickers, dog guards, um, lettering you can see in here. And if you click in this one, it then gives you a series of other things to, and you can drill down from each one here. Let's have a look, the lettering. And then you've got the name plates. And if you click on that, it shows you the name plates and if you scroll back just up here, you can go on the next one. And then if there's a one, so let's say we wanted to get the the um, HSE. Who doesn't like an HSE? So if you can click on this. Now this is the sort of drawing number here, this 16098. If you click on that, then in the bottom of the screen, you've got this. Now this is the Land Rover part number. Now the first bit of this is in Russian along here, so don't worry too much but it is in English. So this is saying it's the nameplate for the tailgate. So bear in mind some Land Rover descriptions, this is taken directly from Land Rover, they'll be a bit weird. Sometimes it'll go like finisher. It seems to be their favorite word, everything's a finisher. So what you can do is you can then copy that part number and you can often just do a Google search then for that part number if you wanna find out the price of that part number. You can go, you can see some images often, and then you can go to LR Direct, it's quite a good website. They're a competitor in some ways, but I don't care. And this will tell you, this is the part number, and then it'll give you some idea of price. So sometimes you might think, well, it's cheap enough to buy one from Land Rover or a main dealer. LR Direct, I know have got a direct price feed from Land Rover, so they should have most of the prices on there. Right. Let's jump back here. So what did I need for the Freelander 2 today? I needed that front crash reinforcer. So it's part of the bodywork here. So if I click on this one, and then I've got to remember where it was now. So it was actually, now be careful, because sometimes they have a second page, which takes you along to here. Now, obviously they can't show all the parts in this diagram here that's inside that section but you can see we got front and rear bumpery stuff so if i click on that one and then we got two options here but we'll click on the first one and this is the early type the pre-facelift type and you'll see here this is the part we're looking for so again if i click on the drawing number it will then show me down here the land rover part number they're not always in the former lr zero something but most of them are but this is where you'll find the part number. Right, and what you can do, if you wanna take that part number, I've copied it, you can put it back in the top of your screen here, right, and you can actually see what that was used on. So some items like wheel nuts or badges are used on lots of different vehicles. So you can put it back in, and you can see actually that it's, it's used on the pre and post facelift. So they use this front crash member on the pre and post, post facelift so I know when I'm looking on eBay I'm not worried whether it's an early car or a late car because they both use the same part and then what I can do is I can take this part number and say well how much is one of those if I buy it from Land Rover so I'll use LR Direct again if I paste that in there and then it will come up hopefully 
with a part number. So actually I've got a picture here and it tells me that that from Land Rover is £200 excluding VAT. So I've just bought one for £35 on eBay and I know that I've saved money on that. Now there were some other bits that I bought that were not so expensive. So the headlight docking brackets. So again, if I go back here and headlights, now you can see the black bits colored in here. This is wiring headlights. So if I go in here and let's find the headlights. So bear with me a second. Right, what looks like, there you go. People are screaming, it's there, mate. There you go, go on that one. And then, so if I go headlamps and front fat, it was this plate here that sat under the headlight that's broken. So if I click on this plate here, and it gives me that, now notice here we've got the right, oh, I'm gonna highlight it. We've got right hand here and left hand here. So it's got the two part numbers. So I can take one of those. So before I go to eBay and, and buy one of these second hand, I can go in here and I can have a look how much these are likely to be from Land Rover. So this is interesting. So they're about eight, so if I buy it directly from Land Rover, it's going to be about £18. So I don't think it's worth buying a second-hand one for £18. I could buy an aftermarket one for as low as £10. But I'm going to go with the genuine one. So I've ordered that directly from the main dealer. So hopefully this has given you a little insight. I've plugged my competitor's website, so please don't buy too many accessories from him. But hopefully this will allow you to see how you can use... now. Some part numbers have been superseded because Land Rover, for reasons known only to themselves, decide to change part numbers over time. And so you won't always get the latest part number from this website, but it will give you a good start. And if people want, I will do another video because I've got access to MicroCat, which is the Land Rover main parts database, which is up to date. I'll do, do you a little tour and a tutorial of how to use that. If people want, I can do that. Right, that's all for today. Slightly different. I hope that's gone all right. Let me know your comments. I've not done one of these screen recordings. Big shout out to George, my son, who's helped me set this up. So there we go. Enjoy.